A common misconception is that all air traffic controllers work in the tower, but these airmen are radar approach control or RAPCON. They work with a larger airspace and communicate with pilots once they are airborne. Any aircraft that enters the designated airspace will communicate with the RAPCON at shock. We do ensure that, you know, pilots, passengers, you know, our, our pilots at Shaw and McIntyre, they all stay safe as far as um, if anything were to go wrong. We're the ones that they're going to talk to and they're going to trust what we say to ensure that they stay safe as they're flying around. He also said they control all traffic within Shaw's allotted radar airspace, which is military, civilian, any air carriers, basically anyone who flies through our airspace. The airmen are controlling live planes, so there are never any redos. Training is an important factor to the job and something they do every day. No matter the skill level, they train whether they are learning the job, learning to train others, or learning to supervise. You have to have the confidence to know that what you're doing is the right thing at that time. And you also have to trust the people that you're working with 100%. Teamwork and training are important to air traffic controllers and are what keep planes flying smoothly. Airman First Class, Victoria Seacrest, Shaw Air Force Base, South Carolina.